this is one of those, there's no better time than the present to teach about security and um, cyber security, information security in particular, safety. I got an interesting email uh, earlier this morning that was from a well-known site. This brings me to a very, very specific section of your CompTIA Security Plus objectives, particularly the types of attacks, social engineering. And today I want to kind of all encompass phishing, spear phishing, whaler, vishing, impersonation, and a hoax. Um, it's not very often you get to have these instances like this that are so spot on and are so um, time as perfectly as this. Now, what I want you to pay attention to is this. This email that I got is very interesting, mainly because it gives you the big Amazon account lock, blah, 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 blah. Customer service, Amazon, blah, 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 blah. Now, when I hover over this, look what's wrong with that. Take notes and pay attention to what's wrong with that. Look at that logo. Look at that email address. And also pay attention to this little section right here. Whoever did this. Tried they damn this. They were trying hard. They threw Amazon's logo on there. They threw that big uh, hoax on there. They even wrote a nice little paragraph here. All of it complete horseshit. See this little button right here? You see what it says LinkedIn? If this is an Amazon site trying to get trying to get you to unlock your account, why is it going to somewhere completely different? Sincerely, it has Amazon customer service, all this stuff. All oh, that's a complete fucking lie. It's a complete hoax. It's not real. These are simple everyday examples of why information security is so important and being diligent and paying attention to what's going on and reading this stuff and don't just panic. Because now I want to show you something else that's even more interesting than that. This is, you know, my Amazon account. And as you can see, it's not locked. And I can go in it, I can um, look at my security settings, I can look at lists, I can look at all kinds of, you know, stuff. But according to this email, my account is supposed to have been locked. Which takes me back to the objectives. I just showed you exhibit A of social engineering, a clear hoax, impersonation, the, 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 whoever wrote this is impersonating Amazon. And I, I could be any one of these victims of that. They could be fishing, they could be spear phishing, or even worse, it could just be a plain Jane denial of service attack. You click that button, they get all your information, and guess what? You're locked out of the Amazon account for real. So I just wanted to take this opportunity because some people ask me, say, when are you going to start teaching? Well, I plan to do a lot more formal teaching. But this is one of those informal moments where you can't write it. Someone's son 
me a hoax and they were fishing god damn it what what the fuck uh y'all hold on a second let me see what the hell all that happened now Uh, like I said, duty calls. I mean, I'm, you know, doing this and uh, answering some questions from my real job. So bear with me a second. But yeah, this is this is what I'm what I'm talking about right here. These objectives are not just memorize, say, and forget. In the real world, in some form or fashion, and you yourself watching this today might have been a victim of this. I said it once, I'll say it again. The skills and information and terminology that you pick up when you go for this certification, Security Plus, and take this exam are going to follow you. This email right here is a clear hoax that's not even Amazon's logo that looks like Amazon that doesn't like the way Amazon uh, when they greet people greetings from Amazon and up here in the two there are one two three four five names up here and a magic button that'll mess your whole day up. Do not click stuff like that. Check your Amazon account first. Now, with that being said, let me share something with you, okay? When Amazon emails you and they send you a real threat assessment. It's going to look similar to this one. You're going to have Amazon up here. You're going to have something that's going to be able to go back and authenticate to Amazon. And this is warning me that someone tried to access my account. In my home state of, or my adopted home state of Georgia. And look at there. What, I'm let me see if I can get this part if you can see it. If you can see this, when you go over that link, it actually goes to Amazon. Let me show you some other little telltale signs. Amazon will provide you a link that you can follow. It's going to go to Amazon, not to LinkedIn, not to biz. Da, 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 da. It's going to be something you can authenticate through Amazon. And whoever that genius was, they tried to get into my account, and Amazon told me about it. Now, do you see the difference between this? And give me a second, because I, I don't have two browser windows open to fix this, but I'm going to try to uh, get that going for you right now. Give me a second. Um, okay. Okay, a real Amazon correspondence, a 
fake as shit Amazon correspondence. Note how this looks. Now for all you forgers, let me remind you something. Amazon takes this shit seriously. I'm going to hit this good old report and flag button and I'm going to let them know that I got this. So quit doing this shit, please, or do better homework. Don't launch this shit against a goddamn sec information security professional. That's stupid on your part. It's only going to end badly. Okay. Amazon. That you can authenticate. Some bullshit that if you're in the United States and they catch you is going to get you sent to prison. So, um, I say again, with your security plus and any real certification exam. Be careful. Blindly clicking these emails, be careful opening these emails and do your research and your homework. 